here is day three with Ligero. And um, Sero's using this handy little stick with a hook on it to grab the drag rope that we left on him the day before. And then he's gonna just tie the ropes together. Uh, so he has a longer rope uh, since he can't uh, wa just walk up to him and hook on the lead rope yet. Um, that's of course the goal. So these are just, uh, these sessions of course are pretty long. If you wanna see full length sessions, you can hop over to our Patreon group. There is a link below to join that and watch full length sessions of him training Ligero. Uh, but this video is just a short synopsis of days three and four. Um, so he's working on one, wanting to teach him to follow that rope, follow that feel. And um, he wants to get close enough to put that bigger rope on him so he's got a little bit more of a, a, a bigger purchase um, because his horse likes to kind of rear up and spin around. And so um, you can see he was like, well, I'm going to have to, I can't get that close. So he's, he's you know, got to think a little bit and try something else. And so he's going to go ahead and desensitize him to this rope a little bit to try and get some touch on him from a distance. And so that's what he's doing here. And it's a lot of repetitive stuff over and over again. So I cut a lot of that out. Um, but the idea is that he's going to use the rope to start touching him and getting him to relax with touch before he tries to introduce his hand. Um, so it's a really good technique. I uh, highly recommend if you have a Mustang that just does not want to be touched. It's just doing kind of what Isidro is doing here. And yeah, it takes a little bit of time. And then uh, next thing you know, he's rubbing on him. So he's just moving that halter around. Of course, he's nice and itchy under that. So he's using that to his advantage. And um, he kind of got spooked and went away. And you see he does that rearing up thing. So um, he's on the other side now, desensitizing him to that rope, trying to work his way up to be able to touch him. And here he gets close enough. There we go. Really important that you make sure you're not just staying on one side, uh, which is easy to do if the one side is a lot easier than the other side. So right now he's changing eyes. He's just kind of trying to get his focus and attention on him. See how he was trying to block him there? And he's got his eyes back on him. So he's just switching sides to get his focus back on him. So here's that little bit of rearing up thing that he wants to do instead of kind of following the feel of that rope. Instead of trying to get him to move, um, he wants to lock up and rear up. So he's trying to get that, that hind end to move away and get moving. And then um, he just, the halter was pulling more on his cheek than his nose. And so he decided to switch out this halter and put a rope halter on, uh, which is what we like to do. Uh, initially, uh, we leave the web halter on him because it tends to rub less, and it's you know it's a it's wider. It doesn't it doesn't have as much purchase if if he's going to step on a drag line or whatever. So with a lot of effort and time and patience and you know creativity, put the one halter on over and then undid the web halter underneath and took it off. And so now he's got um, a little bit more of an effective training aid. Um, and that's what we normally do is we switch them out. Um, usually after about a week, uh, they're in a halter like this um, for training. And then hopefully pretty soon we'll be able to take that halter off. See, so he got his other bigger rope on him too. And what he's trying to do here is he, he wants Ligero to smell him. So he's kind of putting his armpit over there. Instead of really believes that he gets a good whiff, um, really smells him, then, then he can smell him from a distance and he's, he's not so afraid of him. So this was uh, the next day and you can see it was so much easier for him to catch him. He just had to put his foot on. So this is day four now 
So he just had to put his foot down on the rope to get close enough and was able to switch that out pretty fast. So um, the retention of training is really pretty good with this horse. And then that happened. Um, he wasn't even pulling on him hard. He just got the right angle and he knocked the wind out of himself. Like he fell pretty hard and he totally knocked the wind out of himself. So it gave him quite a bit of time to kind of recover from that. Um, but yeah, Sutter wasn't even pulling hard on that rope. He just decided to, to rear up and trying to twist around. And, um, you see, even later, he still kind of tried to rear up. And so we really got to get that fixed because, man, do we not want to be riding a horse that wants to do that? Um, and so here he's just trying to get him turned around because he really wants to block that side. It all boils down to him blocking him from getting on this side. So here he is getting him soft following that that halter um, a little bit better, following that lead rope a little bit better and, and moving that hind end over. And then this was so cool. This was like more towards the end of the session and he just got a really good whiff of him and see how he's starting to really engage in the training. So it went from like crazy rodeo spaz, what the heck at the start of this session till he's like, oh, well, well maybe this isn't so bad and maybe you're, you're not so bad and kind of wanting to investigate, he's either a little bit. And then we, I was worried about his mouth, I, you know, I didn't want him to like, you know, cut his teeth and, and instead of just put his whole fingers in there. Uh, he definitely does need his teeth done though, so we'll get that done. <laughs>